If you're new to trading, this is going to be one of the realest videos you ever watch. Are you serious? I'm going to tell you what most gurus won't tell you. And I'm going to show you how to make $250 a day trading SPY and QQQ. Really, 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 really? But here's the catch. You will not do that by one contract. See you after the intro. Now, when it comes to stock options, you must understand the gap. That's the difference between the market closing price and the market opening price. As you can see, the market gapped down when it opened, then it came up to fill the gaps. This is called the gap and fill. Now, in this case, you have what is called the gap and go. As you can see, the market gapped up when it opened. It never came back to fill the gap. It just kept going up. That's a gap and go. The gap and go, the gap and refill. The market either gapping up or it's gapping down. So in this situation, we're in the pre-market. I have my pre-market high. And I have my pre-market low. This dark gray is the after hour, the light gray is the pre-market. My pre-market low and my pre-market high. So what I want to see is the market break above this level and close. The candlestick close, right? Then I'm looking for it to come back and retest, meaning this level hold, and then the market should go up. You dig? Why do I wait for the retest? The retest validate that this is a strong level I'm trading from. So I want to see it break, close above, come back and retest. But this level must hold when it retests. If this level hold, boom, I'm in the trade and it's going up. My second option, the market come down. Same thing, break and retest. It break below this level, the candlestick close below this level, then it come back and retest. And this level hold, if this level hold, the market should do something like this. That's what I'm looking for. The break and retest strategy at these key levels. Why do I want to trade like this? Because if the market is relatively strong, I'm looking for the break above the resistance level or pre-market high and continue to go, the gap and go. Or if the market is weak this morning, I'm looking for the break the low Retest and keep going. That's the gap and go. Now, where's the gap? At the previous day close and the current day opening. So, if the market open right here, we're going to see this gap. So, the gap could get filled. That's the gap and fill. Once it fill this gap, it can decide to go up. You dig? So these are the things we got to worry about trading the strategy. But other than that, I'm looking for what I just showed y'all. So let's see what happened when the market opens. We got our breaking close and retest. Okay, came back and retest. I'm in this trade right now. We came back and retest again. I got in on the retest right here, it went up, but it came back. You know what? If I see this green candle showing me strength that it want to go up, I'm not getting scared. I'm not checking out of the trade because I have experience. What I'm doing is adding another position because this level is still holding right here. You dig? This is a good trade I'm in so far. The market closed, you dig? So from here, 504, let's see about 508, that's a $4 move. So if I had one contract, each contract contains 100 shares. So to calculate your profit, you multiply the 100 shares by the $4 move. How many dollars does the market move? Four. So 100 shares times $4 is what, 400. So you made $400 on this trade with one contract. But like I said, the market pulled back and I put another position in it. So I got two contracts now. So $4 times 200 is what? That's $800. Now I said you're not gonna make 250 a day buying one contract. Why did I say that? Because sometimes, the market don't give those four dollar moves. Sometimes it might be a, a 50 cent move from here to here. 
And that's a wrap. You can consolidate for the rest of the day or drop. So you take what the market give you and you get out the trade. In order to make those $100 days or those $200 days buying one contract, you have to maximize your game. You have to know how to stay in the trade and when to get out. And that'll be hard for beginner traders. Buy more contracts, catch those small moves, and check out. You dig? This is a spy example. Now, let's take a look at QQQ. Here's my pre-market high. Here's my pre-market low. I wanted to break this high, come back and retest, and do something like that. The break and retest above the pre-market high or the pre-market low. The break, retest, do something like that. Now, waiting on that retest, you're going to miss out on a lot of trades. But that retest confirmed the level you're trading from. That's why I wait for the retest. Let's see how this play out. You got that break. Retest. You good right here. You got your break. You got your retest. That's 140 to about 137. That's a $3 move. If you buy one contract, remember that contract contains 100 shares. So a $3 move times 100 shares is what? $300. So you buy calls if you believe the market is going up. You buy puts if you believe the market is going down. I just showed you two examples with the SPY and with the QQQ. How to make $250 a day. But the way I do things, I buy multiple contracts and go for small moves instead of trying to go for those long moves with one contract. Now, this is something you want to practice in your demo account. If you're new to trading, do not try this live with a real account, okay? It takes time. Trading takes time. You're not going to win all your trades. You have to take these trades within context of everything else, you dig? If it was this easy, everybody would be making money. I'm just keeping it real. It's not this easy, but it can make you some money if you're a beginner trader. This is one of the easiest strategies, you dig, when it comes to day trading. Now, when I say easy, that doesn't mean you're going to wake up every morning and just make $1,000. You're going to lose some trades. Every trader lose trades, especially in stock options. Stock options can be a little tricky, but for example, let's say this market came down, I'm in a buy call. The market came down, I got stopped out. My loss is minimum, you dig? Put it like this. I'm looking for it to bounce off this level, right? And I got a tight stop loss, so the market hit my stop loss. My timing was off. It came under, I ain't trust the move, so I got out the trade or I got stopped out. It came back to this level again. Tight stop loss. Got stopped out again. Again, got stopped out. That's three trades I lost. But that one trade I was right in, I made $300, depending on how many contracts you got. I might lose about $20, $30 on this loss, $20, $30 on this loss, $20 or $30 on this loss. But this one move, I end up making two or $300. So I'm not even worried about these losses. All I got to do is just catch this move, you dig? It's all about your timing and perfecting your levels, you dig? And you have the cash settlement rule, meaning if I got a $500 account and it costs me $100 to get in this trade, once I'm in this trade and I get stopped out, let's say I just lose $20. That $80 is not going to be back in my account until the next morning. So that means I got $400 left to trade with. Took another loss. Now I got $300 to take a trade with. Took another loss. Now I got $200 to take a trade with. And I lost about what, $60, $90, something like that. But this one trade, if I, if I could buy two contracts, this one trade would make me $200, $300, because I'm moving from 512 to 518. That's a $5 move. So I'm gonna make about four or five hundred dollars over this one trade even though I took these losses manage your money minimize your risk maximize your gain you're gonna be a profitable trader a lot of people got the concept that 
You gotta win all your trades. No, you don't. You gotta manage your money. So if this video was helpful in any kind of way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's your boy Leo. Peace.